one of your favorite talk shows, Stephen Korean Perspectives. I'm your host, Stephen Alexander. And I'm your host, Korean Harris. In today's episode, we have Marla McCants from My 600 Pound Life here to share her journey with battling weight issues. We also have Marla Salas, Ebony Parsons, here to share how she thrives to empower women. And in today's topic, Korean and I will discuss Valentine's Day and knowing if he or she is the right one for you. So don't go, you're watching SKP. SKP, Stephen Korean Perspectives. SKP, Stephen Korean Perspectives. Are you ready for this? Valentine's Day is just one week away and we know many of you are getting your <laughs> hair laid and your beds made. So it's all this work day for the wrong person. So Karine, what are your thoughts on that? First, we have to talk about what is considered the wrong person. Okay, so first, you know, I had to, you know, take you back to school. Even though you had school I'm earlier, not, I'm taking I'm you back. I'm, so, I'm sorry, what? I'm <laughs> Where's that coming from? <laughs> I just want to teach you today. Oh, you're coming very hostile today, baby. What's going on? Okay, okay teach me. Come you, on. you know, some people don't know if they're with the wrong person or not. That's true. So first, you have to determine: Do y'all have the same values, belief, and opinions? Because it's going to be hard to date someone if y'all don't have the same values, belief, and opinions. That's true. And also, can he or she accept you with your flaws? That's because you know we all going to come with our flaws, but can that person accept, accept it, that. or is that person going to always throw things in your face? Yeah. Also, do you feel like you have to wear a mask? Because you know some people. People pretend like they are something different when they're around certain people. But when I'm with my significant other, which I don't have one, but I'm just saying, <laughs> I don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> but no, I don't have one. I'm taking, you know, time to myself. But it's almost like, you know, when you're with someone, you shouldn't have to feel like you have to wear a mask. You should That's be able right. to be yourself. Like me and you. We're not together, but we can be ourselves. We, we crack ourselves jokes and time. stuff all the time. Yeah. And also, have your friends and family met them yet? Well, it depends. For me, it just depends on you know what the person is. Mm -hmm. And that kind of, I'm glad you mentioned that because that was actually my last thing. But I'm going to go ahead and say that. Establish if your golden medal is really a golden medal or if it's just a one time hit. So, what I'm saying by that is, mm -hmm. is this somebody that's really a golden person? Is this somebody you really want to bring home to mom? You have to know that. And you know it by just meeting the person. Exactly. You, if you get what I'm saying, you know what kind of person they are. Or is this a one-time hit? Now, that sounds a little crazy, but what I'm saying by that is, it's just a momentarily thing. It's just a momentarily relationship. And I feel like you also have to know what the person's values is. Exactly. What are their values? Does their values match your values? Are you trying to, because you're trying to get somewhere. You can't get anywhere if they're not willing to go with you. So you have to know where, they, where they're at. Exactly. So that way, y'all can meet at least halfway. And then another thing I would say, does this person show you the same respect and care as you show them? Because oh, that's a good one. Know, that's a good one right there. A lot of times, you know, we often show people respect. We give, 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 but we never receive. And that can be an issue. If you're gonna yeah. be, you can feel mis misused. Cause actually I was talking to someone about that in my core today. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you feel like you just give so much. And you don't get anything. Advantage. Yes, they, that is definitely mm -hmm. true. And you guys, you got to be careful on being too nice That's because right. people can pick up on that. They and can. it's not just about your actions. It's with what you say. So you do have to be careful. That's right. And sometimes you do have to be careful. It's like you just have to be careful <laughs> 24 you hours, 24 hours. And then, you know, back to when you was talking about friends and family, have you met them? You know, mothers, they always, they always know. know. They always know. Yes, <laughs> like listen to your mothers. Is when, they say, when they say, no, this is not the right person for you. Or this is not the right friend for you. They are telling the truth. Yeah. I mean, that is hands down the truth. Exactly. Like I also have one more thing. Oh, go, go ahead, go ahead. Um, what are their intentions with you? Mm, that's Set a good out one. A line and a schedule. What is your intent? Be direct. Yes. Because nowadays we have to be direct. Don't be around the bush. No, that's right. Let me know what you. What are your intentions? Are you here for a long term or short term? Are you lacking something that I can give you? Because that that lets me know. Mm -hmm. So okay, I don't want to be with you because you need this and I'm not willing to just give you this. You know, I want to give you more than just one thing. So, yes. you know, you have to accommodate yourself with them, but you also have to be honest and just 
Be truthful. If this is a, if this is a relationship, call it what it is. If this is a one night stand, call, call it, it what, what it, it is. is. <laughs> and also, is he or she going to support you? Okay, That's for example, you know, me and you are both getting college degrees. That's right, we're right. going to school every day. We're working. We're in the process of starting our own business. So we have a lot of stuff going <laughs> on. Okay, how would that be if we were dating somebody who did, you know, support mm -hmm. us? I can't have someone saying, oh, you're going to school today? Just miss. Oh, you're going to work mm -hmm. today? Just miss. No. no. With anything, you need to be encouraging me. Help me and with my homework. Bring my book assignment. Too, I've had someone close to me who was in a relationship who the person didn't like that they were doing the things that they wanted to do for their career. And that is not healthy at all because when someone tries to diminish who you are and uh, diminish your accomplishments, they're not for the right ones for you. Cut them off. They where they want to go. Cut them off. So you you have to. Off. And then what was, it was something that, because it's so much valuable information. Exactly. Basically, you know, what Steve and I were saying, you know, please examine the person before you take it too far. Get to know them as a person. And also sometimes it can be hard to determine mm -hmm. if that person is the wrong person, person because in the moment it feels right. They doing all the right things. But you know, I just thought about something. We talking about all this. All our viewers know that we are single. They be like, how are y'all gonna give us advice and y'all don't have nobody? And you know, no. we, oh my goodness. We used to have somebody so we able to talk about past experience right. because we want to help you all That's not right. only do you guys help us but we want to help you all but you got to help yourself too <laughs> and what i mean by that is you know like we talked about you know the signs I, I know i keep talking about that but you know the signs we just want you all to know the signs that's right because we don't want you to be with a broken heart that's and right. valentine's day is next that's thursday right. we gotta go they okay tell us we gotta okay go. <laughs> you guys we must take a commercial break but coming up we'll have marla mccants with us you don't want to miss this so stay tuned you're watching SKP. Every year, we lose 400 people to carbon monoxide poisoning. 170 of these incidents are from non-automotive consumer products. Poisoning can help to be prevented by installing a CO device in your home, having your appliances serviced by a qualified technician, even having your mechanic regularly touch up on your exhaust systems. Never have your vehicle running in a garage that is connected to a home or have the garage door closed. Every year, we lose 400 people to carbon monoxide poisoning. 170 of these incidents are from non-automotive consumer products. Poisoning can help to be prevented by installing a CO device in your home, having your appliances serviced by a qualified technician, even having your mechanic regularly touch up on your exhaust systems. Never have your vehicle running in a garage that is connected to a home or have the garage door closed.
Welcome back. I'm your host, Stephen Alexander, alongside with my co-host, Korean Harris. Many of you may know today's guest from the hit show, My 600 Pound Life. She is here to talk about her journey after weight loss. Another fun fact about her is she is my cousin. We welcome Marla McCants to the show. Thank you for coming today. Oh, thank you. You're more than welcome. You look beautiful, by the way, <laughs> you today. You do. I oh, love thank the blue. You, you look very beautiful. My first question to you mm -hmm. is, tell us a little bit about your childhood and upbringing. To me, I had a beautiful childhood, one that I think uh, everyone would adore. Mm -hmm. We uh, did fa family gatherings. Uh, we went on trips, cookouts, um, family oriented. Okay, mm -hmm. so can you talk a little bit about, you know, the weight gain? Can you yes. talk about that a little bit? I think I would have to go back to the root of things, and that was I was molested by my father. That is the beginning. Mm -hmm. Now that I'm going through therapy, uh, I discovered that, and, and I'm working through it, along with life, children. Right. And uh, I guess, yeah, I would have to say the beginning was that. Okay. You were originally 800 pounds. You were unable to walk. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Like, how did you feel during that time? That had to be very traumatic for you. Yes, uh, that was miserable. Very miserable. Um, having to go to the doctor appointment and um, go by EMS, fire, uh, fire, you know, mm -hmm. fire department, just for a doctor's appointment. So... Uh, that wasn't cool. So <laughs> how did you have people like help you get up? Like how did that work? I had to have a uh, care person. I had to have a care person and that was a struggle itself. Being very independent and having to depend on someone. I see. That's not me. Right. I definitely understand because yeah. we don't like depending on That's people right. ourselves. Right. So how would you describe your level of confidence through all you have been through? Mm -hmm. Well, I would have to say um, going through therapy, never losing my faith. You know, I've always had that. Um, God, it reveals, you know, it just, it's just it awesome, out. yeah. yeah. It works. That's the biggest thing through right. everything we go through. That's we right. have to keep our faith. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you were originally 800 pounds. You yes. look beautiful by the way. <laughs> so can you tell us about the type of surgery you had? Would you suggest a diet plan or a surgery? I'm against uh, the gastric bypass. I had the gastric bypass, and that is where they go in and make your stomach smaller mm -hmm. and bypass your intestines. Um, I wanted the sleeve, so I would, if you want to have, if you need to have surgery, I would suggest the sleeve or the lap band. Okay. So how it's does less the complicated. Sleeve? Yeah, how does that, do you know how that works? The sleeve is just where they go in, everything stays attached, and it just makes your stomach smaller. And you know, the lap band is where they go and put the laparoscopic band around. Okay. So, so that's, you know, it's less. A little, right. Yeah. So how would you say, what about the diet? Would you say someone should go on a diet or a lifestyle change? Because most mm. of the time, that's, that's the difference between the two. Correct, a uh, lifestyle change. You really have to change the way we eat and no fast foods. You're right, oh, um, it's No so fast hard. foods, yeah. and stay away from true. carbs. No fast foods, and stay away from carbs. And no junk foods. Right, Yes. yeah. So what do you think about the dinner, the healthy meal choice that they have at department stores? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cause I eat them all the time. Well, the, see, I, I haven't experienced that. Um, the restaurants I go to, like Subway or uh, Chinese food, that's really basically what I eat What out. you eat? Mm -hmm. And see, they actually have those kind of meals for healthy, because I right. know I did have some Juno well, Tyson's some of, chicken. Some of them they, they claim are healthy, but some of them are not. I, mm -hmm. I think it just depends on, you have to be careful what you put in your mouth. My next question to you is, when did you decide enough is enough? Because I know from laying in the bed, always having to f feel like someone has to help you. When did you decide, okay, I'm tired, and I need to change this right now? When I had to go to the experience, the uh, EMS, I remember episode of TV when uh, I seen a woman getting cut out of her house just to leave. Mm -hmm. I didn't want that to happen to me. Um, losing my mobility. Can't do what I want to do when I want to do it, having to depend on somebody else to move when they want to. Want to. So those were my breaking points. Because you were unable to drive as well, because right. you used to drive. Exactly. And you were unable to drive. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you mentioned to me personally that mm -hmm. I feel like I need to keep moving. Why exactly do you feel this way? 
in my mind is like, um, I don't wanna ever go back to being the way I used to be. So it's trapped in my mind to keep moving. Even though I'm tired, I keep moving. I keep moving. I just don't wanna go back to that place. Right. So what are you doing to keep on moving? What are some things that you are doing right now? I have physical therapy. I see a psychiatrist, um, my grandchildren. Being with my That's what right. yeah. You are a grandmother of a newborn baby yes. boy. Yes, for the baby. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> the first one is always for. Yes. <laughs> and then you are currently in the process of writing a book. Yes. Can you tell us, not really the title of the book, okay. but what are you looking to put into the book? What are you looking to, you know, how are you reaching your audience? What do you want your audience to know? Mm. I would like them to know that um, it's a lot. It's a lot um, after that surgery. It's a lot that you go through that they, that they don't tell you about. It's very mental as well as physical. Uh, I want to give tips and little secrets. You know, they don't tell you that you're going to have diarrhea constantly all oh, the time. Oh. oh. Yes. And that's very bad, especially like if you can't even get up. Yeah, it's great. And you have to rely on someone to come and clean you up wow. all the time. Or you're at work and you eat and you gotta go to the bathroom. And okay. see, that's but something yeah, I yeah, never knew yeah, either. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. So, a lot of little secrets. And what about like far as motivating people? Like, are you looking to tell people that, you know, we talked about, you know, the diet plan and a healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. How can you tell people in that book, how can you inspire them to be, change their lifestyle I can start by telling them the truth. I can tell them what I experienced hand on hand, mm -hmm. word for word. Uh, I believe that's, that's the most important thing because I wish that someone had it told me. I really do. Do your homework, do your research, talk to people who've had the surgery. Really get in to find out what you're getting, you know, you're getting into. Right. Yes. Will, will you be releasing your book this year or next year? Or is it a secret? Hopefully this year. <laughs> I, I'm planning hopefully July. It's in the process. Definitely let us know because okay. we want to be there. Yeah, and we definitely want to book. <laughs> we definitely want you to sign right. it. And our next question to you mm -hmm. is, you are a motivator, of course. Mm -hmm. So what are some of your visions when it pertains to helping people who battle weight issues? I would honestly say when I first started out, I reached out and there was one or two facilities I would like to see more facilities, more research on this. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people are affected by it way more than they claim to be. Mm -hmm. And this is something that needs to get out. We need help. And I would like to open a facility up. And I really would and help, go around and help, not just hire somebody. I wanna be there, I wanna meet. It's important for me to meet that person. Because you want people to feel. Feel. Yeah, yeah. feel. Yes. And they can they can better take information from you because yeah. you've been through it. Yeah. Right. Right. Better right. relate. Because yes. I honestly feel like, you know, it's kind of hard to listen to a person who never been through the situation. Right. Like, how can you tell me how right. it feels when you've never been through? You right. may understand, but you don't you fully don't understand. understand. Yeah. Right. And but we'll be we'll be back with okay. you, Marla because we actually have to do the commercial. <laughs> OK. But you guys must take a quick commercial break. But when we return, we'll have Marla Stylist here, Ebony Parsons here joining us, so stay tuned, you're watching SKP. Every year, we lose 400 people to carbon monoxide poisoning. 170 of these incidents are from non-automotive consumer products. Poisoning? 
can help to be prevented by installing a CO device in your home, having your appliances serviced by a qualified technician, even having your mechanic regularly touch up on your exhaust system. Never have your vehicle running in a garage that is connected to a home or have the garage door closed. Every year, we lose 400 people to carbon monoxide poisoning. 170 of these incidents are from non-automotive consumer products. Poisoning can help to be prevented by installing a CO device in your home, having your appliances serviced by a qualified technician, even having your mechanic regularly touch up on your exhaust system. Never have your vehicle running in a garage that is connected to a home or have the garage door closed. Welcome back. Join with us is Marlon Stallis, Ebony Parsons. I'm your host, Corinne Harris, <laughs> and alongside my co-host, Stephen Alexander. So how, thank you for coming to the show today. Thank you for inviting me. So can you tell the viewers a little, about, little bit about yourself and your passion for fashion? Well, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a jewelry designer. Um, I'm also a stylist. Um, I have three children. Mm -hmm. um, just a little bit about my uh, passion for fashion. Um, as I've told people before, years ago, I didn't like myself. I didn't like the way I looked. I didn't care how I dressed or why, anything why, like that. Why so, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, because I was a big girl. I've always been a big girl, and I thought that being big was not beautiful. So I took some steps and got, got myself some help. And one of the things that I wanted to change was the way I looked. Mm -hmm. So I started learning how to dress, and I taught myself how to dress. And, put outfits together, put jewelry together. Um, so that's that's my passion. Well, we can honestly tell you. Right. <laughs> beautiful today. Right, right. Beautiful. Thank you. So how did you and Marla come into contact with one another? Well, actually, um, Marla's publicist, Treva Gordon, is a dear yes. friend of mine. We go way back. <laughs> um, and she knew that this is something that I had started doing where I wanted to, to address people, and I had st actually started doing that. So she contacted me. And I say, yes, ma'am, I'm available. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you are currently starting your own business, right? Yes. And the business is called All Eyes on You Boutique, correct? On her boutique. On her boutique. Mm -hmm. Can you tell the viewers a little bit about that boutique and what, the, what it stands for? So what I want um, women to understand, and I'm speaking from a, a full-figure woman standpoint, a lot of us are not confident in the way that we look. Mm -hmm. And so I want to teach women a full figure status that it's okay to wear print, it's okay to wear rompers, it's okay to wear stripes, it's okay to wear these different things. And so these are the items that I have in my, in my boutique. And I want to show women that you are beautiful and right. you need to embrace who you are. 
dress yourself up, big girl. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way that's the way I present it. And so that is something I want to do. And I also have jewelry in there so I can do jewelry and I'm styling and different things like that. Right. So when would you say you finally realize you fine tune within that because you mentioned you were not confident mm -hmm. and then I know you didn't just wake up one day and be confident. Mm -hmm. How did it how did you get there? It just it took a lot of prayer and a lot of soul searching and it took me forgiving myself because I had a lot of a lot of issues with myself of, mm -hmm. of things that had happened in the past and just down on my luck, I guess you would say. And so I had to learn to love myself. And that's something that I did not. Right. I loved everybody around me, but I did not love myself. Okay, so. so Marla. Yes. You mentioned to me that now you wear prints. Do you think Miss Ebony had an influence on that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, she had a tremendous um, impact on that because I never would have wore stripes, prints or anything. I, I just wouldn't have. It was out of my comfort zone. I never would have done it. And I when you say your comfort zone, do you feel like that the prints or something were ugly? Like, why would you say that? You know, just curious to know. Just as she said, being big. You feel, you yeah. Feel, you know, you're not that zero, one, two, mm -hmm. three. It, it's stuck in your head. And I think a lot of times what happens too, some people like, they look at you crazy, like, why do you have yeah. that yeah. on? Because yes. that happens a lot. Because you can definitely, like, when I'm out, I see how some people look at people. I'm like, hey, we can wear whatever Everyone we want. Right. That's right. right. So, Ebony, on another note, <laughs> you recently started a mentorship program called Young Kings for School Age Boys. Can you tell us what your mentorship has to offer young men? So yes, so being a single mother, I have two young boys that I'm raising and um, I wanted to give them like a brotherhood. Uh, I wanted to give them some positive role models. So in this program, they get to meet with other boys. They get to learn things like putting on a tie. They get to go bowling and just different things like that. And we have, uh, we also have psychologists, psychologists that we're dealing with bullying yeah. and different things that b school age boys come in contact with. And where's your mentorship located? So it's located here in Clarksville, Tennessee. Right now I'm um, on Madison Street. Okay. Um, um, we're meeting at a church, uh, at my church actually. We're meeting at my church and we meet every second Saturday. Okay. And what's the name of your church? It's um, God Sanctuary. Okay. So our viewers can go and watch yes. you there. Yes. Well, guys, we thank you so much for coming. They're telling us we have to wrap up. I wish we could stay longer <laughs> with you guys. But um, for our viewers, thanks for tuning in today to SKP. And again, we have Marlon McCants and Ebony Parsons. You can find them on Instagram, Facebook, Facebook. Twitter, yes. all that. And again, thanks for tuning in with us today. We'll see you next week with more news and entertainment. We love you guys. And always remember to, let's go pee. pee.